Hi everyone, uh, this is Professor Sun Gohan, who is going to teach the game theory and its applications. Uh, this is a brief introduction of my class. And first of all, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the administrative side of this class. How am I going to operate this class? My philosophy on this class would be the class cannot be more convenient than this kind of thing. Okay, so I will uh, give a great value for the student convenience. So first of all, uh, this class is going to be 100% recorded lectures, and I'm going to upload all the 15-day lectures at the, on the first day of the class. So uh, you can take uh, this my class anytime, 24 hours a day, uh, any any time any day of this three weeks period. Theoretically, it is possible for you to take all my classes on the first day. Of course, that's not recommended, but if that is most convenient for you, you can do that. Second, the evaluation would be by two assignments. And also these assignments will be given to you at the first day of the lecture. So uh, you can uh, do the assignment anytime that is convenient for you. And you can submit it uh, before the deadlines I provide to you. Then you would be fairly evaluated and the grade would be something you would be happy about. Of course, one shortcoming for this convenience would be that we cannot meet. So you would have uh, less time, you might have less time to uh, do the Q&A session. For this, I'm going to have a Q&A session online so you can post your question, whatever it may be, 24 hours a day. And I'm going to check the Q&A session every day so that you'd be answered by me in 24 hours. In addition to that, if you have any idea to improve uh, the class, the how to run the class, I would be all ears and uh, accept your suggestions if that is proper. Next, so what is game theory? Game theory is basically study about strategy. So the purpose of this class is uh, thinking strategically, okay? Doing something very hard is good, but not good enough. You have to think about the strategical side of it all the time, especially when you are doing something with someone else, then this is really important. Think about rock, scissors, paper game. I believe everybody know that. Rock wins over scissor, scissor wins over paper, paper wins over rock. Let's modify it a little bit. Now, if you win with rock, you will get one point, which means automatically if you lose with seizure, you will lose one point. If you win with seizure, you get two points, which means if you lose with paper, you will lose two points. If you win with paper, that would be three points, which means if you lose with rock, that would be losing three points. So obviously winning with paper is best for you. And winning with rock is good enough, but you know not as good as winning with seizure or paper. If you play this game, which of these three choices, rock, scissors, paper, are you going to use most frequently? Someone may say paper because paper gives me a high point. The answer is, which you would be able to calculate after taking my class would be the seizure. Paper is such a good strategy, but if the other, your opponent to win with paper, you are going to use lose three points. So you want to defend yourself by seizure. That is why in this game, actually played, the people do not choose paper as much as the seizure. So seizure is the most frequently chosen strategy in this case. 
And all this can be uh, calculated mathematically using the game theory. Second, you assume that there is a strange professor like me. The professor said, if you do not come to the exam, I'm going to give you B plus. Wow, that's good. You don't have to study at all. You don't even go to the exam. You get B plus. But if you come to the exam, I'm going to give you either A plus or C plus. And A plus would be given to you only when you get the, all the answers correct. If you get like 90% answers correct, 10% you miss, then I'm not going to give you B plus. I'm going to give you C plus. So it's quite a risk for you to go to the exam. You may get A plus, but otherwise you are doomed to get C plus. Will you skip the exam and get B plus? Or are you going to take the chance, get either A plus or C plus? Many of the, prof the, the students would choose B plus. My advice, you should go to the exam. Think about it. Why the professor think about this strange exam system? The answer is he does not want to grade them. I mean, you know, it's a beginning of the vacation after the final exam. The student cannot wait for the summer vacation, winter vacation. Same for the professor. But then what is the last obstacle for the professor between professor and the vacation? The grading, the answer sheet, piles of answer sheets. So probably that is why the person think, okay, I don't want to grade so much so that I discourage the student to take, not to take the exam, then I can grade less. So let's say 50% of the student didn't show up and get B+. Now you have 50% of the answers you have to grade, but then person knows that this student must study very hard. Otherwise, they are not going to take the exam. So their grade must be pretty good. So when I know that these students are hardworking, study very hard, what's the point of grading them? So there is a good chance this professor would not grade the answer sheet and give everybody A+. Plus. Will you take the chance? I would. If you like this kind of thinking, strategical thinking, I think my class is for you. Thank you. And hope to see you all in my class.